Okay, this is uh, Louis and Chris's introduction. And uh, careful for clap. Take one. Okay. The beautiful, serious business of introducing ourselves. So we play it like we're both coming to sit down. I'm already sad, bro. <laughs> nah, man, I'm <laughs> sad already. I'm coming to one person that actually comes okay. to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of it as like the two seconds of like, hi, first video yeah. out there, you know. No. <laughs> you, got, you go first and I'll talk. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you say? Well, did so. you sit down or are we going to do the sit down? Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Do you want me to say hello and then you go? Or? Hello, my name is Chris. <laughs> and I'm Louis. And together we founded Here's Stress. That was kind of nice and natural. You want to do it again? <sighs> you got this, man. <laughs> we go, uh, hello, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm the head of development. Development. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, here is Stratus. Video Productions. <laughs> Every time I speak, I speak. <laughs> uh, and I'm Louis, uh, head of productions at Here is Stratus. And together we founded. <laughs> <laughs> we can always do another intro after. <laughs> <laughs> We just have CG Chris. Yeah. Hi there, my name is Chris. I'm the head of development at Hero Stratus. Oh, and I'm uh, Louis, and I'm the head <laughs> of care? productions at Hero Stratus. The one time he does it perfectly, I fuck yeah. up. That was perfect. Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro. Uh, I'm a journalist, and I'm here to interview. Christopher Jacobs, Head of Development for Hero Stratus Films. So, well, Hello! Chris, so, uh, how's it go? <laughs> Next question, please. <laughs> Think about dying puppies. Think about them. I'm okay, I'm, I'm ready. You um, know why are you telling me to think about these things? I'm thinking about it, you don't think about it. You just... What is Hero Stratus? What, what is it? Um... It's like, uh, Hero Stratus is the dude who, uh, he was in ancient Greece, he wanted to be a little bit famous. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> he wanted to be famous, so, uh... He said that! I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> We're here with Louis Lignarde. He is the second half of Hero Stratus films. That's cute. Uh, Louis, what is Hero Stratus? Hero Stratus, you mean the company or the guy? Um, both. Uh, it was actually a name of a, of a person back in ancient Greece. And he became famous through, you know, he set fire to, to this wonder of the world, the Temple of Artemis. So he used, apparently the marble temple had like wooden beams. And so he put like oil rags all over it and set fire to it and then just walked out like a boss and was like, I am here Stratus and I did this. And everybody was like, well arrest this man, let's put him and execute him. <laughs> he got caught and uh, when the council and the government there found out, the, the lawmakers found out his motivations for it, they did their best to try and erase his name from history. We've taken, yeah, we've taken that uh, name and, uh, and incorporated it into our own uh, company tagline, be remembered, because mm. at the end of the day, that's all he wanted to be. People, you know, why, why do we do these things? Yeah, at, at the crux of it, like there is always that part that, you know, maybe I want to leave a legacy. What kind of better fucking metaphor for filmmakers than Hero Stratus seeking fame, being all narcissistic and shit, and setting in the most expensive thing ever on fire. It's like basically burning piles of money. And that's what we do. We just burn piles of money and be like, I did this, all proud and shit. <laughs> just 
to be remembered. Well, personally, I came up with the, the, the name uh, Here's Shyness because there's this, uh, I think it was the 1960s, it's filmed by Don Levy, and uh, Here's Shyness was about a poet. Like, he sort of finds his, his lust for life. And I think it's some of the most beautiful shots of uh, London uh, in that film. Why was it important then to set up an independent production company? Uh, well, firstly, the like the legal obligations, so creating that <clears throat> don't want to call it a legal framework, but creating a business and that these operations happen under definitely help facilitate, uh, you know, the attainment of what we're, we're trying to attain. I guess the film actors and, and the core the core components to make a film, and the, then have it produce the film afterwards. So I thought. It was just something to do with like paperwork and contracts, so we ha we'd have legitimacy. But in in the end, it it brought a lot more. It was a hard learning curve, but it's huge benefits to it. I would recommend. Do you feel there's an aspect of your strategist that makes you stand out from others in the field? Um, that's a good question. Uh, there's one thing I keep saying to Louis, <laughs> and I guess that everyone is that. Uh, we we believe that for the budget that most people spend on a short film, you could make like a really good feature length film with that same money. I guess like it's always awkward when we go to networking events and things like that. We go and talk to people, and and nobody pays you two mine until suddenly somebody mentions money, right? Your what I'm hearing is that you're saying to other producers to be ambitious and still a budget do something that. Strength. Is that something you would agree with? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, also, mm. be ambitious regardless of the budget. Mm. Like, the budget shouldn't exist, that should be an afterthought. And then, even then, there are people out there, man, that are just the most lovely people and they'll happily help. If what, if what is Herostratus' next major project? More feature length films, expanding uh, ourselves to different platforms so we can reach more people and help more people because that's also one of the philosophies behind here stratus is that uh, all these young filmmakers who don't know what the fuck they're doing will come in will film their their, their stuff for, for them and help them grow and uh, in turn they later they help us like a, a friend of ours called the uh, villain uh, the best he's he's done a, a film with us and of course the budget was like 300 pounds and he asked us to work for over 15 days and things like that and we just did it for free working night days we found the whole crew everybody went, and we did it uh, and so that's how we differentiate ourselves we rather focus on the people than the money and uh, in the end we hope that the end product reflects that mm -hmm. which it often does so, yeah. sorry that was a, such a long answer sorry. i sorry. myself